Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Tuesday, although you guys are probably not going to see this video until Wednesday, but anyways, I'm outside of Walmart. We're getting ready to go in and do our Ibotta haul for this week, which I am so excited for you guys. There's so many good deals at Walmart. I'm just like so pumped to get in there and share this with you. So first up, I am working with an Ibotta bonus. It's the midweek marker bonus, which is really weird because I'm so used to calling that the midweek money maker. But anyways, mine is $5 for redeeming 18 offers. I've already done three of those, so I only have 15 left, and I will get back an additional $5 bonus. Plus, I'm also really close to hitting my July level one bonus, which is 50 cents back. So a total of $5.50 in bonuses today. So obviously, we're going to be using Ibotta. We're going to be using Fetch Rewards, Swag Bucks, and Shopkick. So if you're not signed up for any of those apps, I will have the links down below in the description box. All of them are totally free to sign up, so make sure you get those downloaded um, because these apps save us so much money, you guys. I use them every single week, and they're totally legit, and we can get some really great deals with those apps. So make sure you download those. It is hot in this car, so let's go ahead and go into Walmart and get some deals. <music> Okay, so first off, we're starting off with a moneymaker on these Depend Silhouettes. It has to be the 8 count or higher. The cheapest one my store had was priced at $10.12. We're going to use this $3 off paper coupon that came in the 627 Smart Source, which is going to leave us to pay $7.12, but then Ibotta is going to give us $10 back, making this not only free, but a $2.88 moneymaker. Okay, so now we're going to do a really hot swag bucks deal on the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I never see deals on this stuff, so I'm definitely grabbing these. Now we're looking for very specific ones. It has to be the original, the bear, or the tropical, or there's one other variety, but it's a little more expensive. These ones are priced at $6.48, so we want to grab two of these for $12.96. Swagbucks is going to give us $12 back for buying two, making these only $0.48 cents each, you guys. Now, I also recently downloaded the My Points app because I've seen Jody Dunn mention it in her videos and couponing with Kayla as well. And it's basically just like Swagbucks. They even have pretty much the same offers on there. So I'm grabbing two more for the My Points app. They're giving back 2,040 points for buying two. They do their points really weird, but couponing with Kayla told me that all you have to do is multiply by 0 .006, and that's equivalent to 1224 back making the both of these just 72 cents. Next up, we're going to do the Colgate deal on this gum renewal toothpaste. These are priced at $6.96. Ibotta is going to give us back $5, and then I'm going to go ahead and submit to the coupons.com app for $3 back, which is basically a coupon just like in a digital version. You get the cash back in your PayPal. So anyways, $8 back on that is going to make this a $1.04 moneymaker. And now we're going to do a Shopkick bundle on the Old Spice. The amazing thing with Shopkick is that for most offers, there's no size requirement. So if it doesn't specify a size, you can get the trial and travel size and you should get your kicks back. Now the scan kicks won't work on the little trial size items, so you have to scan like a full size item. But the buy kicks do work and if they don't, just email them and they always fix it for me. So anyways, there is a bundle on Shopkick where when you buy one Old Spice body wash and one Old Spice deodorant, you get back a total of 1,080 kicks, and that is including the scan kicks and the buy kicks. So we're going to grab the little Old Spice body wash for $1.47 and the deodorant for $0.97. Cents. We're going to pay $2.44 at the register and get back $4.32 on Shopkick, making this a $1.88 moneymaker. Now we're going to grab a couple of these Safeguard hand soaps priced at $2.97 at my store. There is an offer on Ibotta for $3.67 back when you buy two Safeguard products. So we're going to pay $5.94 at the register for two of these, get back $3.67 on Ibotta, making it just $2.27 for both or $1.13 each. Alright, so moving on to some laundry products, super excited for these deals. First up is the All Detergent, luckily they have one left on the shelf, this is priced at $2.97. We do have a $1.50 off coupon that came in the 718 save insert, and I have an Ibotta rebate for a dollar back, which is going to make this bottle only $0.47. Cents. Then we're also going to grab these Snuggle Scent Boosters priced at $3.97. We do have a $2 off paper coupon that came in the 718 save insert, so that's going to leave us to pay $1.97. Then Ibotta is going to give us back a dollar, making this only $0.97. Cents. 
However, there is a $1 bonus for when you redeem two Snuggle offers, so we're also going to grab the liquid softeners down here for $3.97. We have $1.50 off any Snuggle product from the $7.18 save and 75 cents back on Ibotta, which is going to make this $1.72, but since we're getting back a $1 bonus for doing two Snuggle offers, it's going to end up making both of these just $1.69 or 84 cents each. Another option that you can do with this $1.50 Snuggle coupon is on the 40 count dryer sheets. These are only $1.84. So if you use the $1.50 coupon, you're going to pay just 34 cents for the box. Now this coupon does have a limit of one per shopping trip, so this is something that I will definitely be, you know, periodically grabbing throughout the next couple weeks. Alright, so last week Ibotta was amazing and gave us a bunch of back to school freebies. So in last week's Walmart haul video, I was getting pretty much all of those freebies. There was just a couple that I couldn't find. So if you want to see that, go back to last week's video because I'm pretty sure those are still available. Anyways, one of the freebies that I could not find at my store was on the Kleenex. It's $1.89 back on the 110 count box. My store does not carry that, but if you look at the fine print on the offer, it does say that you can get the bigger sizes. Now it won't be free, but you'll still get the amount back for the rebate. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this bigger size right here for $2.98. Ibotta is going to give me back $1.89 and Fetch Rewards is going to give me back $0.25, cents, which is going to make the box only $0.84. Cents. I really don't think that's a bad deal for some Kleenex. Okay, so my daughter loves everything Jojo Siwa, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this cereal because she's going to be super excited. So this is the General Mills brand. It's the family size box for $3.64. I still have these $1 Peelys that I found at my store a few weeks back. You can probably still find some if you look around. Um, I think these were on the Cheerios boxes. Anyways, using this coupon, we're going to pay $2.64. Then we're going to submit to Ibotta for $1.50 back, making the box only $1.14. Then I'm going to do the Quaker Oatmeal deal again because it's just a really good deal. So for this deal, you want to get either the Strawberry Banana, the Dinosaur Eggs, or the S'mores for $2.50. Ibotta is going to give us back $0.75, cents, and then Shopkick is going to give us back 310 kicks, which is equivalent to $1.24 back. And there are three separate Shopkick offers, one for the Strawberry Banana, one for the Dinosaur Eggs, and one for the S'mores. So technically, if you want to get all three, you totally can. It's going to make it just 51 cents a box. So next up, I was going to grab the Kellogg's Jumbo Snacks again for $4.98. I ended up finding something so much better, so I did end up putting these back, but I'm still going to share it with you guys. So these are priced at $4.98. We have a $1 printable coupon on the Kellogg's Family Rewards website. So we're going to pay $3.98, get back $2 on Ibotta, and... 325 kicks from Shopkick, which is equivalent to $1.30 back, making this only 68 cents. So anytime that there's a new cookie that comes out, I've noticed that I can never find it in the regular cookie aisle. It's always on this random end cap by the pop section. So if you ever cannot find like a newer product that just came out, just look around on all the end caps. So anyways, we're looking for these Chips Ahoy. It has to be the golden candy chip. They're priced at $2.74, so we're going to grab two of them for $5.48. I'm going to use two $1 printable coupons from coupons.com. I will have that linked below in the description box. We're going to pay $3.48, but then we're going to get back $2.74 on Ibotta for buying two, making it just $0.74 cents for both or $0.37 cents each. I'm going to go ahead and do the Buttig lunch meat deal again because number one, it's a good deal, and number two, my husband loves the corned beef kind. So these are priced at 56 cents each. We're going to grab five for $2.80. I'm going to use this dollar off five printable from coupons.com, and then we're also going to get back a dollar on Ibotta for buying five, making it just 80 cents for all five packs or 16 cents each. So that's definitely an amazing deal. Now, I think coupons.com will only let you print that off once, so if you've already reached your limit on it, try going on a different browser or a different device um, to print it off again. Mine did say limit reached, so I just went on a different browser, and sometimes that works, and you'll be able to print it off again. Okay, so here is my amazing clearance find on the Kellogg's Jumbo Snacks. So this is the little clearance section on the grocery side of my store. I always just kind of do a quick check and I happen to see these boxes down here on the bottom. They're not marked, but I scanned them into the Walmart app and they're ringing up for only $3, you guys. Now this is the variety pack of the jumbo snacks, so they have 22 in each box. Here's the UPC just in case you want to check at your store. 
My store had three of them, so I definitely grabbed all three. I also scanned these into Ibotta and they do qualify for the $2 rebate, which has a limit of five. So that means I'm gonna get $2 back for each box. Then we have that Shopkick offer and the $1 printable, which I wasn't sure if it would work, but it ended up working. So that is gonna make it just 70 cents for all three boxes. I'm definitely gonna go put the other jumbo snacks back. All right, next up we're gonna grab the Luigi's Italian Ice for $2.87. I have a $1 coupon from the 7-Eleven Save Insert. So we're gonna pay $1.87, get back a dollar on Ibotta, makes this box only 87 cents. Next up, I'm gonna grab another one of the Mrs. Freshly's Snack Cakes for $2.86. Now we did have $1 printables on coupons.com last week. I already used mine and they're no longer available to print unfortunately, so I'm just gonna pay the $2.86 at the register. I'm gonna get back a dollar on Ibotta and a 50 cent bonus since it's my second time doing the offer. Making this box only $1.36, I will definitely pay that for these because these are freaking delicious, you guys. Okay, so here's what my cart is looking like so far. I got everything organized, looking all pretty. However, I did realize that I was one offer short from hitting my bonus. So I'm going to head back over to this section and grab these U by Kotex security pads priced at $5.47. My store had $2 peelies on the items, so definitely look for these. With this coupon, we're going to pay $3.47. We're going to get back um, $2 on Ibotta. Then we're also going to submit to Shopkick for 425 kicks between the scan kicks and the buy kicks, which is equivalent to $1.70 back, making this pack free and a 23 cent money maker. Okay, so we're back out from Walmart now. All the coupons scanned just fine, so I am super excited that the Kellogg's one worked for those variety packs of the Jumbo Snacks. Um, I had a feeling it would because it did say 5.4 ounce or larger, and those are definitely larger than that, so that worked. Okay, so all the coupons scan just fine, so that's awesome, but word to the wise, when you are doing a Swagbucks offer and a My Points offer, do them in separate transactions. I don't know why I did not think of that. I clearly was not thinking. Um, I purchased all four of the dry shampoos on one receipt, and I totally messed that up because I scanned my receipt on Swagbucks got the swag box for the first two that I bought. Then I scanned my receipt over to my points and it said that the receipt had already been submitted or whatever. So they won't accept it. Yeah. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to like return those two and then purchase them on a separate receipt and then submit it. I'm going to have to figure that out. But just a heads up, if you're going to do an offer on each of those apps, uh, do separate transactions. <laughs> Other than that, everything went fine. My subtotal after coupons was $83.89. I scanned my receipt to Ibotta, got back a total of $39.30 just from the rebates that we did. Then a total of $7 in bonuses. So $5 for my midweek marker bonus, $0.50 cents for my July level 1 bonus, $0.50 cents for the Mrs. Freshly's bonus, and a dollar for the... What was that for? Oh, the snuggle bonus. So a total of $46.30 back from my bada. Then I got back $12 on swag bucks and I was supposed to get $12.24 back on my points. So I'm gonna have to try to fix that. Maybe I'll just return it and purchase them again, but we will just ignore that. If you're doing them on separate transactions, you should get the money back for both. Then I'm getting back a total of $6.86 from Shopkick. I got 44 cents total on fetch, so 25 cents of that was for the Kleenex, and then I got bonus points for buying the um, the cereal, the Depends, and the You Buy Kotex. So 44 cents from fetch, and then three dollars from the Coupons.com app for the Colgate. So if you take all of that and subtract it from how much I paid, that makes everything a grand total of three dollars and five cents for everything that we got today. That is amazing. Um, I feel like I got a ton of stuff. Loving Walmart this week and I'm so excited to be able to stock up on dry shampoo. That is probably one of my favorite deals this week other than 
my awesome clearance find on the jumbo snacks. So anyways, you guys, that is all I have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and if it was helpful for you, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and leave me some comments down there. Let me know what deals you're grabbing at Walmart this week. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them down there or if you just want to say hi. Um, but that is it, you guys. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out